to the center hole too, but it's like up a yeah. bit. Yeah, I will. Is the generation turned off right now? Oh, uh, I can't. Go to this cave, Slackenorus. The cave measures about 100 feet by 75 by approximately 30 feet high. 30. Okay, what do you want me to see specifically? Just photograph the whole thing there. All this area I'm pointing there. Okay. About 10 a.m. There we go. The 18th of April, 2003. Approximately 85 feet into the cave, at 10 o'clock in the morning, Lewis and I found this pigeon you see in the picture. The flashlight shows possible teeth marks in the area of the breast. I felt the body temperature is still warm. Hypothetically, non-conclusive, we could have surprised something eating this pigeon. It's been my theory that the creature who lives in this cave part-time lives sustains itself on pigeon eggs and pigeons as the main part of his diet. This is incredible if you got that camera with you. You want to narrate that yeah, at all? Yeah. When you say it, when you're ready. Go ahead. Room two, pigeon nests with young squabs, a food source for Sasquatch, end of story. Okay, this is behind us. Now we're entering room two. Second chamber. Is it Mary now? Yep. We're entering the second chamber. Phone. See it? Yep. I'll narrate. We come. A possible continuation of the track I found a week ago. The track a week ago, the track measured 11 inches and a half by 7 inches. This appears to be possible finger marks, very recent, possibly today, of where the creature, or whatever it is, put his hand down to go over this rock. Hypothetical, of course, but very possible. We, we're going to cast this before the day, the day is over. The entryway to the first chamber, second chamber, excuse me. Possibly a stairway to the stars, made actionly. Notice the definition of the amount of dust and debris on top of the rocks. No modern can, person does this. Right here. <coughs> is it on now? Yep. This is a remains of an eagle, eagle or a hawk. Last week on Saturday, 4-12, the bird skeleton was intact, totally visible in a full wing spread. Died that way and decayed that way. Theory is it came in the cave after pigeons and got confused or whatever. Since last week, seven days ago, it's been disturbed. Tip indications from a moving creature. We'll try and cast these too, however it's difficult. Um. We're now entering the third room. From here you have to go under boulders to get to the rest of it. It gets difficult. In. This is behind us. <laughs> this thing like to have rocks. You got another one? <laughs> okay, I'm still recording. I don't know, it's a little longer here. The one from there. Oh, oh yeah. The one here. Just went like this and like that. Definitely. See those? Yep. Is it open now to red? Is it ready to talk? Yeah, it's on. Here's another track. Here and here of hand placements 
moving through the cave. The creature apparently doesn't mind handling rocks. That's his print. Now, you stand down in the hole. When you do, and you lean forward here, which I did. Can't see you. Yep. You can't see you. And we think that he stood here. There's a... Right there. Right there under the rake. The track, hand track of a creature with 11 and a half inch length by 7 inch hand spread. We cast that cast on 4-12-03. The middle finger measures 7 and a half inches, opposed to a human man, male uh, at 4 inches. Lewis and myself included in this as examples. We're going to recast this. Okay. Ready to cast the handprint. And uh, you can see the ruler up next to it. It measures 12 and a half inches. Looks like 11, 12 inches by 7. 12 inches by 7 inches. And um, it's about 10.30 in the morning on Friday the 18th of April. The handprint completely measured. You can see the measurements 11 and 3 quarters. Tell them your uncle likes to put pictures there. <laughs> You're, it's recording you right now. <laughs> And you can see the hairspray because Uncle Larry has to primp and be beautiful in case we meet Sasquatch. Now here's another, it looks like it might be a newer print, fingerprint here. Let's see if we can cast that. Incredible. Here we are making the cast, the plaster cast of the handprint. And another room and this is what I think might be part of a handprint but I'm not sure so Uncle Larry is coming to look at it rough and last that's oh, okay. see five dollars you see it can't you yeah that looks like toes in the archway it covers the natural arch of the rock there, but then back here is the heel print. And if you back, we gotta go here yet. Yeah. Right go, away. yeah, that's a long way. If you go, guess what? Two and a half feet. You know, to the right. I think right here, where I'm at right now. I don't know. For some reason, this doesn't. Here's another handprint that we just discovered. The fourth room. I'm gonna take that one too. Take it. And this is the room here. We don't have a plaster for it. And there's some more prints that are possible over here. You can see the scratch marks on the dirt. That looks like a small one on there. Print. Okay, point me to the next one. It's the fifth room. The fifth chamber. And right there's one. See it? This looks like the same dimensions as the others. And right up, and up there. And here's a sleep mask, probably. Very likely a sleep mask. They dig the holes to lay them back and come to their backs. Makes sense. And they do. And you notice this cave is aerated throughout. You can get uh, air in here anywhere you want to go and it's warm. Where did that print go? Right there. Yeah, that's very definite, isn't it? Take your finger and draw the outline of it for the video. You watching that? Yep. It's right like this. See? Here, up through here. 418. 2003 in the cave of Zacca Norris. Learn the name. That's my name I'm using. My color guy. I did it back five months ago. Zach. Nickname Zach. Sounds good. Zacca Norris. You see the definitions of the play fingers. Play your touch. And the palm. The fingers would be over the ridges in that rock there. There you go. The nine foot people in the desert of Nevada. It had two rows of teeth. Oh, really? Two rows of teeth. Okay, and making the cast. This is spraying hairspray on the dirt to make it... Solid there. Solid. 
This is the one that looks like it's a right. What what hand do you think that is? Left hand? Right? Hand? I don't know. I'm not sure it's on a footprint. So could be footprint. Yeah, it would, it would be, down, wouldn't it? Hunching down, crawling down over the rocks. It does look like it'd be footprint, and holding his hand right here. See, he's crouching, crouching from rock to rock. Yep. And the foot goes there, and then down through here, out of here. See this? Yep. That makes more sense than going down there. It sure does. I'm gonna turn this light off and see if we can see, I'll try get better see. definition there. Yeah, that's a good definition. Of it. Now what I'm gonna do? You did enough of this with me. I'm gonna hand this after I get the plaster half used. Okay. I'm gonna hand it over to you, and you do that one. Sounds good. What time do you have? What's the good part of this is these original ones without being secondaries. Yeah. You look beautiful. Want to give me in this picture? Yeah. It says here, uh, stampede, trap yourself to death. <laughs> Self destruction, five minutes. <laughs> Lewis Chandler, smart pills. Go <sighs> down the Portland. Yeah. But, uh, you sure show this film to your mom, won't you? Oh, yeah. It's recording right now. This is making the cast here. Of the two more handprints. In just a minute, we'll go back into room five and set out food. Easter dinner out. <laughs> yeah, Easter the dinner. The Sasquatch Easter dinner. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right, you're off the spotlight. Here. Right. That's a scary hand if I've ever seen one. But this is more scary. <laughs> Show them that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one that's hor horrified Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Is that the thing turned on? Yeah, it is. This one I got here is the one that's. Boiled the mind of old I saw a handprint look like his fingers been cut off and Larry said, No, that was just me. <laughs> no worries, mate. <laughs> just lay it nearby it so you get the def lay the pliers by the cast. So you can get the definition of size of composed to something else. Okay, it's on. Okay. Get that my hand in there too if you want to. Yeah, that's incredible, isn't it? Look at the size of that. The hand and the flashlight now. That'll spook him. Yeah, they're, say, they're oh, huge. <laughs> they're huge. Okay, I'm going to turn the light on and show part of the cave here. Some of the neat things in the cave. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Real pretty. This is the, we'll call this the Easter room. <laughs> Easter room. Now, that's an easy crouching hiding spot right there. Oh, absolutely. And they're all over inside as we go back in the fifth room. You know, I think there's another channel I found too the other day and I didn't find it again. I don't Did know you? Look down in here. Well, we'll come back in June and spend a couple of days here with us. All kinds of things. We can get away in June a couple of days. Should we head back to the fifth room? I'll record this. Yeah, I'll get the food recording. You go ahead and do what you want to. I'll come back and join you. Okay, food's right. I'll, you want me to take it? Yeah, I'll bring the I'll food bring down. Yeah. There's my other glove. Yeah, there it is. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to go back in the fifth room now and keep the camera on while I'm walking. As you can see. A little bit of what it's like. Now all over in here are potential tracks that we can't tell because some have been damaged by handprints. But these, for example, look like they could be handprints, but they also, if you examine them real close, they're big enough that they could be big for handprints. Okay, now I can stand back up a little bit. Okay, I'll look back over here. Back behind those rocks there is an area that has been pretty much undisturbed. I'm going to walk this through here. Okay. And that backpack is the food. Hey, I found your recorder. It's in this backpack. The heck it is. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back out. Report back out. And then this is the area that has pretty much been undisturbed. That looks like that'd be perfect sleeping area. I don't know how much we can see here, but and as you can see, there are all kinds of hiding places. And sometimes it feels like we're not here alone. And here comes Uncle Larry. Okay. Now I'm coming back to what we're pretty sure would be a nesting place. It looks like it looks like a big family room. It's the Easter room. Call this the Easter room because we here we are the two days before Easter. We're going to leave an Easter feast for the beast. Hey, stop right here. 
This is our our Easter dinner. <laughs> Over here, is that the track I was showing earlier in room five? And right back here, if you can see in that hole, it looks like a very definite dead big out that's been purposely dug to sleep in. And it actually looks like it would be comfortable if you were a Bigfoot. And back in here, now I'm going to come back up here a little bit. So another possible sleeping nest area. Whoa, have you seen back here? Don't go back anywhere unless it's back. Is there more tracks? No, but there's a perfect nest. Oh my gosh. Let them look. Yeah, right here. See our... Look at this. Oh my gosh. Those darn kids. There's, There's tracks all over. You see anything obliterated? See, look right here. That's a that's definitely a child print, isn't it? They weren't barefoot, those kids. They weren't barefoot. You think that's a foot or a hand? Hand. Of a kid, right? Mm -hmm, kid. Yeah. They messed up. Any chance for something? But here's something that's interesting. This might be something right there, like the ass print. Oh yeah. That is. That's not a kid. That's not Levi's. Kids don't wear Levi's like that. You see what I'm saying there, Lewis? That's the skin. The ruffled skin or fur or something. Sure could be, yeah. yeah. I've been past here. Does that go further in there? I'm going to look. No, it's a hole. As far as it gets. So we're at the end of it? I guess we're at the end. On this, on this channel, at least. Incredible. Incredible. You know, if that was a, a little kid's butt print, you'd see fingerprints getting up and feet, yeah, you, know, you know what I think that is? Something instead of gives that rock right there. Yeah. Well, let me sit here and see what kind of print it leaves. Let me do it. And see if it's a similar. Hey, we're out of plastic air. No. That was just me. Yeah. I okay. think that was me. Now see, I'll put my ass down here. Well, this is how it's set. Sure. Just like I'm doing. Now I get up. What do I got? Cloth. Didn't need that. Yeah. That's fur or something. Yeah, I th that's cool. Show them that really well. Let me explain to it on there. Okay. It's recording right now. Okay, what we're looking at right now is... Uh, Look through here to see what you're looking at. The print of what might be, pardon my language, an ass print of the lower posterior of a creature. Now you might not believe that, but when you look at this very closely, analyzing all possibility, over where I'm moving the camera next, right there, Lewis is pointing, I sit down in a like manner, lean against the rock, which is there, and there, the backrest, a perfect identity comparison. I don't not conclusive, but I would say it's very likely the first I've ever seen a possible fur definition or I almost have to say fur or hair. I'm out of cast material, sadly, and I'll come back here in June in 40, 40 days from now, 40 days and 40 nights, <laughs> you know, fly my way, so <laughs> come back here and uh, get this turkey. And Lewis has made the incredible discovery with me today, and I'm overjoyed to have him with me. We're in the Easter room, leaving the Easter, Easter dinner for the big bunnies. <laughs> there you go, partner. Thanks, sir. No worries. Look at my thumb. Ouch. Okay. That is incredible. Measure hand span by hand span. A little bit more. I'll measure that at home. I bet that's 10 inches. Yeah. 
<coughs> Here's a look coming back out of uh, uh, I can't see it very well, but of the nesting area. What? And I'm talking in the video camera. And uh, definitely those rocks have been placed there. Incredible. Paraffin and wax bar with peanut butter on top and raisins. I've also laced it with a little bit of flavor that I think would be tempting for a Bigfoot. If he bites into this bar of, of, of uh, paraffin in the oncoming weeks, there'll be teeth marks left behind providing he drops or throws it. I doubt he eat the whole thing. He might lick the top off, in which case we have DNA. It's going to go on dinner. Okay. This here is a uh, underneath the inside is a plastic softball with holes that they use for practice. I pushed inside <coughs> the plastic ball tissues and I laced the tissues with vanilla flavor. Now I covered the outside exterior with uh, molding clay and I rolled the molding clay over the top with honey. I rolled the honey in oatmeal and coconut. And if that won't tempt the Sasquatch, it would me. <laughs> now I'll find a hole here and perforate it, because I'm going to pour out here at the end a couple of things to tempt the Sasquatch into picking it up. I've got some flavor. I'll explain that when I get to that point. It will go inside this ball and help to... Uh, greet the animal to Easter dinner. Now here's a face, if you want to call it that, for Happy Easter, partner. <laughs> there he is, right there. Oh, your recorder is none. Oh, that's all right. I got it there. Now, <clears throat> this one here is a molding clay ball through and through. It's been, I put into it licorice candy, black jelly beans. And it smells very good. And I also put a few drops of vanilla in the bag to somewhat saturate saturate the odor I think about of this myself. Now I want to demonstrate. If something bites that, oh yeah. You can see the teeth marks. And you won't notice that my DNA is also in there now too. <laughs> but if we get lucky, Mr. Bigfoot or Mrs. Happy Easter. Turn it off. Oh. This next bar is similar. It's also a bar of clay and the same licorice in it again. Now this is the second one. If he likes the first one, he might try the second one. Or whatever. There it is. Happy Easter. Turn it off. Here's some more of the cave while we're waiting for the rest of the Easter dinner to be prepared. It's actually quite comfortable in here. You could, if you had a good sleeping bag, you could stay in here for a long time. Mm -hmm. You'll notice here now I'm pointing at the carrot. This here is coconut and oatmeal. Over here is oatmeal and raisins. There have been reports over the years, I've been doing research, that on several occasions, including my own, Sasquatch have eaten the oatmeal from campsites. So I'm hoping they might do it again. Maybe rats will get it, but who gives a darn? The apples, the potatoes, and carrots here, carrots here are designed to start the Sasquatch off. Provided he starts eating, he might like these items here, and he may know about potatoes in the area of Idaho down below here, uh, on, on the Idaho desert down here, raised spuds, so he might know about them at night, I don't know. But potatoes, carrots, apples, the bar that is paraffin with honey and raisins and, uh, oh, and peanut butter and all the other things you're told you about. Well, you know, the old saying, one hand's better than two and two hands better than three and there's the Easter, Easter dinner, <laughs> 2003. All right. Now you see all this other stuff here, carrots, apples, potatoes, paraffin, 
clay, licorice, uh, oh, this is to lace this ball I told you about that has holes for flavor. I'm pouring in here a mixture of vanilla extract and a few other chosen, chosen goodies that I... <laughs> not too bad. Is that whiskey? <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> I'm also lacing this oatmeal with the stuff. So I suspect the Sasquatch are going to love it. <laughs> Happy. Rawr! <laughs> 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 We're going to rake the cave now. Add us some noodles. The garden to the rake. And uh, food. in order to leave a clean floor so we come back in, we'll know what wasn't here, man or beast. Finished? Yep. I hope it didn't, but we might be one thing come after this. <clears throat> I'm not much of a gardener, but this is about as close I want to get. <laughs> I think I just messed, messed the track up. I got someone right there I missed right there. Oh, really? Very well, that's right. Where's that one that we circled? Over there. Did I get that? I don't know if I got that on this. Okay. The oh, right the there. Yeah, that is such a good track. I'm going to walk out there and get it again. That is such a good print right there. I wish I could have got that one. That's a very good hand print. So we'll come back in June and do that one. Okay. Let's put some more. Look at that. Look at that. When you go across there, well, it sure shows up. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't record it. Do it again. I had it on standby the whole time. Now it's recording. Tell me, I like my hands on it if you want to. Yeah, got them. Okay. Yeah, that's going to show what the prints will do after a rake. So when we come back, we'll have perfect prints. Fun. Uh, did you get to develop for me before uh, before May, uh, by May 1st? Yes. Oh, yeah. I want a copy. I want to send them two copies. I'll buy them. One to Ray Crow. And let him so show it to so the Bigfoot Society. Okay, this is leaving the Easter room, and you can see how it's been raked and ready for prints. A plaster cast ready to be taken up, dry and ready. And then we'll head out. I'm going to film the whole way out. The entrance to the Easter room. And see how we had to crawl underneath here. I can get it. I can get it while you put our the stuff away. Yeah, you know. I did. I'll save time. This is bread flour. Tell it. Bread flour. Putting flour on the rock. We dusted the rock off. This is the one where we, where uh, initially found this. Initially found that that the best print, the hand print, and um, so we dusted the rock off, and now he is spreading bread flour in hopes of getting a, a better print. If the beast touches the rock again. We'll call this rock the, what did you say, the pulpit? Yeah. Or the altar? The altar. I the altar. Better. Looks like an altar. That's good kids too, don't you? That was scary. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> 